Olympics legend Dame Kelly Holmes today breaks a 34-year silence to tell the world, I'm gay. The sporting superstar turned to the Sunday Mirror to come out at the age of 52, in Pride Month. Behind her beaming smile, Kelly has lived a secret life for decades. And she admits, there have been lots of dark times where I wished I could scream that I am gay, but I couldn't. In a heartrending exclusive interview, she reveals a scary brush with COVID made her realize she needed, and wanted, to show the world her real self. Bottling things up triggered breakdowns and left her suicidal. Years of self-harm included one episode at the World Championships. She was a 17-year-old soldier when she first realized she was gay after a female comrade kissed her. Fear of being prosecuted, at a time when homosexuals were banned from the forces, forced her into silence. Her barracks were raided in a search for proof of same-sex relationships. Dread of being a-outed, or judge tainted a parade after winning 801,500 meters gold in Athens in 2004. After years of pain, and fully aware of rumors about her sexuality, she is grateful to be breaking the news on her own terms. Kelly, looking radiant in a white blazer and red flared trousers, tells us, I needed to do this now, for me. It was my decision. I'm nervous about saying it. I feel like I'm going to explode with excitement. Sometimes I cry with relief the moment this comes out, I'm essentially getting rid of that fear. And explaining her fear of retrospective action for breaching forces rules, she says, I was convinced throughout my whole life that if I admitted to being gay in the army I'd still be in trouble. Family and close friends have known for years that Kelly is gay. She has a partner and, while she doesn't want to give details, she smiles and says, It's the first time I've had someone who I don't introduce as a PA or friend. Of previous partners, she adds, no disrespect to them, but the relationships have only been a small part of my life. They haven't been in this fearful world with me for 34 years. One problem for Kelly was that the more famous she became, the harder it was to reveal the truth. Yet, says Kelly, sexuality was not even on her radar when she dated boys as a teenager in Hildenborough, Kent. She says, it was an era where the stigma of homosexuality was really bad because of the AIDS epidemic. I didn't have any role models in anything like that, and back then, school sex education was nothing to do with being gay. Things changed after she joined the Women's Royal Army Corps in 1988, a month before her 18th birthday. A fellow soldier kissed her at the bathroom block and, says Kelly, I realized I must be gay then, because it felt good. It felt more natural, I felt comfortable. Kelly wrote to her stepdad, whom she has always thought of as her father after her real dad walked out when she was a baby, to explain what had happened. She adds, I said I met a girl and I don't know what to do. I was confused and a bit scared of what it meant and nervous to tell him. But he accepted it straight away. Kelly had secret relationships with other female soldiers during 10 years in the army, risking court-martial if they got caught. Everyone knew who was gay, but you'd never talk about it, she says. There was this pub that had a back dance floor and a pool table and everyone we knew was gay used to go to this place. You could be yourself, then come back to your barracks. When she was 23, Kelly's quarters were searched by royal military police in a check which she believed was to root out secret lesbians. She was left terrified, recalling, they pulled everything out of your cupboard, turned out the beds and drawers, red letters, everything trying to catch us out, so we could be arrested, court-martialed and potentially go to jail.